Ooh, hi friends, it's Miss Tammy at Brazil Public Library. Look, we have some spookiness going on. I've got spooky stories for us this week because it's almost Halloween. And this is Mrs. McMurphy's Pumpkin by Rick Walton. Such a good story. So let's get started. Mrs. McMurphy lived by herself on a farm at the edge of the woods. See it right there? Every morning she hushed her chickens and then she sang to them as she fed them and gathered their eggs. Every morning she gave hay to the cows. She scratched them behind their ears and told them to mind themselves while she milked them. And every morning she slopped the pigs and smiled at them and said, if you break out of your pens today, you're bacon. Then she'd give each one of them a kiss and a pat and pat them on the nose. One morning, four days before Halloween, Mrs. McMurphy got up to gather eggs and found a large pumpkin with a wicked, wicked grin sitting in the hall by her front door. There he is right there. And the pumpkin said, my mouth is here. I speak to you and when my teeth are here, I'll eat you. Oh, what a sweet looking pumpkin, said Mrs. McMurphy, but pumpkins belong outside and she carried it out to her porch. And look, he looks so sad now. Three days before Halloween, Mrs. McMurphy got up to milk her cows and she found a large pumpkin with a wicked, wicked grin and a crooked nose sitting on her sofa. The pumpkin said, my nose is here, I smell you. And when my teeth are here, I'll eat you. Oh, morning is my work time, said Mrs. McMurphy. Why don't you come back in the afternoon and we'll have cookies and milk. And she carried the pumpkin out and put it in the shed. There she goes. Two days before Halloween, Mrs. McMurphy got up to feed her pigs and found a large pumpkin with a wicked, wicked, wicked grin and a crooked nose and two pointy ears sitting in her kitchen doorway. There he is. The pumpkin said, oh, my ears are here, I hear you, and when my teeth are here, I'll eat you. Now, now, she said, let's remember our manners. And she took the pumpkin outside and set him floating down the river, and look, there he goes down the river, and he is not happy at all. On the day before Halloween, Mrs. McMurphy got up to clean her house she found a large pumpkin with a wicked, wicked grin, a crooked nose, two pointy ears, two mean eyes sitting on her kitchen counter. The pumpkin said, my eyes are here, I see you. When my teeth are here, I'll eat you. And what lovely eyes they are, she said, but I'm afraid no one's allowed on my kitchen counter. I wonder what she's gonna do. She put the pumpkin in a box and she mailed him to the North Pole. Look, he's there at the North Pole. He is not happy to be in that cold weather at all. On Halloween morning, Mrs. McMurphy woke up to do her baking and found a large pumpkin with a wicked, wicked grin, a crooked nose, two pointy ears, two mean eyes, and a large, sharp teeth sitting on her stove. The pumpkin said, my teeth are here. I can bite you, it's time for me to eat you. Oh, well, we'll have to see about that, said Mrs. McMurphy. What do you think happened? That night when the ghosts and monsters and little princesses stopped by her door, Mrs. McMurphy fed them each a thick slice of warm pumpkin pie. So what do you think happened to that pumpkin? Oh, you gotta be nice. So I hope you enjoyed our spooky story. We'll see you next week. Have a great day. Bye.